All right, now Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin backs Kerala Chief Minister over this fun war. Stalin to join Kerala in the fight against the center. DMK to take part in the left protest in Delhi. February 8th is when the protest by the LDF will begin against the center over lack of funds. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin has written to his Kerala counterpart, Pinraya Vijayan, lauding and extending full support towards the legal steps taken by the Kerala government against the interference of the union government in fiscal management of the states. The MK will also take part in the protest organized by the LDF government in New Delhi on February 8th. The MK leaders will be wearing black bands as a mark of protest. They say, and I quote, our voice will not be will not rest until we establish cooperative federalism and retrieve state autonomy. Words of Tamil Nadu Chief Minister MK Stalin. Let me cut across to Shilpa Nair joining us live for more on that. Shilpa, we know that the Congress party in Karnataka wants to protest in Delhi tomorrow and ally in Tamil Nadu, DMK, the ruling DMK also now says they are going to join the LDF in a protest against the centre over lack of funds uh, on the 8th of February. So the next two days is going to, quite, is going to be quite action-packed in Delhi with southern state leaders arriving in the national capital and pointing their fingers at the centre for depriving them. Tell us more on the situation in Tamil Nadu. Uh, well, yes, Nabla. In fact, uh, more and more what we can see is, uh, you know, the southern states and the political parties in the southern states raising their voice against the union government, saying that, you know, they're not getting their due share of funds, despite the fact that southern states are contributing a lot in terms of the GDP, in terms of the taxes. Uh, these states are not getting enough money back, and that has been the complaint, and that is the reason why we are seeing protests. Uh, for example, the Congress party, the Congress government in Karnataka will be staging a protest in New Delhi tomorrow, following which on... Uh, February 8th, the LDF government will be staging a protest in the parliament premises and the DMK has just extended support uh, to the protest called by the Kerala government. Uh, Chief Minister and DMK President MK Stalin has just put out a statement that uh, he will be extending, his party will be extending full support to the uh, initiatives or efforts taken by the Kerala government. Remember, the Kerala government had uh, approached the Supreme Court uh, in December last year uh, against the borrowing limit imposed by the centre uh, and other measures taken by the centre, which, of course, interferes in the physical management of the state. Right. And uh, DMK chief uh, MK Stalin says that they will extend full support uh, to the measures taken by the government, by the Kerala government, and also take part in the protest. Uh, uh, you know, that will be taking place in New Delhi on February right. 8th. And he, of course, says leaders like him, Pinarai Vijay and Mamta Banerjee and others who believe in Indian constitution will stand firm together right. when it comes to state you know, autonomy. Stay with us, Shilpa. I'd like to cut across straight to Sarvanan joining us on the phone line. Uh, Mr. Sarvanan, Tamil Nadu government says they've been deprived and they will fight until they are able to retain autonomy or at least uh, until the state government is given autonomy. They claim that centre has been deliberately trying to take control of the state's finances and not giving them their dues. Tamil Nadu. Yeah. yeah. See, see uh, ever since uh, the BJP government has come in, uh, in from 2014, they want to make every state a glorified municipality corporation. They don't want to give the rights that has been assured by the constitution. For the BJP, constitution is alien. They don't want to follow they want to take away usurp all the rights of the state government. That is why we have been uh, we have been consistently raising these issues. And now see, we are facing a dire crisis. We had two successive cyclones, unimaginable proportion, which has devastated the north and southern part of the state. We wanted the, the funds to be released, but the union government is dragging its feet. They are subsidizing every other state except the state which gives more funds. We are giving a huge chunk of funds, tax, uh, taxes to the union government. See, we don't have any problem when uh, you share it with the other states which are not performing. We have been doing that for so long, last 70 years. But when there is a crisis and you don't want to look at the crisis and you leave it to us to deal with, the, uh, deal with it ourselves. If the state has financial autonomy, we are not going to ask you. If we are not given the money to the union government, we are not going to beg the union government for money. We have paid the taxes, we have paid more than our view of the taxes. But when it is not devolved upon us, when we are not able to get, even in the time of a crisis, then what is the point? That is what we are harping on, that is what the Chief Minister is lamenting about. And 
Whereas the, all the other states, especially Karnataka and Kerala, they are also raising these issues. Please give us our fair share. Fine. See, our, uh, one of our uh, leader, Mr. Uh, PDR, he raises another valid point. Fine. We will be able to subsidize. We will, we will subsidize all the other states. No problem at all. But what is the penalty? How long can we subsidize? When we are at right. a problem, when we have a problem, you don't give us, what's the point? Well, Sarvanan, thanks very much for joining us on that. Right, slipping into a short break. We'll be right back with a lot more in Prime Minister Modi's fiery speech and the Lok Sabha sending political